Okay, so today we will look at the definition of derivatives. So, firstly, we'll have to know why we have to study the definition of derivatives. Like, for example, if you have, uh, for example, if you have 4x, alright, you have 4x, and then, uh, the, let's say you have 2x. So, after differentiation, you get f prime x, you'll get 2. All right. So how do you get two? So actually, before this, mathematicians find the differentiation by using the definition. So the definition is given. Firstly, I write the definition. So limit as h approaching zero of f x plus h minus f x over h. All right. So this is the definition that you all have to memorize. Okay. All right. So we'll do something with this. So using the first example just now fx is given by 2x and then we see that in the formula they have fx plus h so 2 the x is replaced by x plus h so, so you get 2x plus 2h you have to expand that one so using the formula so to find f prime x so you can find using the formula given by limit as h approaching 0 fx plus h all right fx plus h minus fx over h so We'll still write the limit because we have not substituted h with 0 yet. So fx plus h is given by 2x plus 2h minus fx here. fx here is given by 2x over, we have h at the denominator. So we have h here. So you try to simplify first. So limit as h approaching 0. So 2x minus 2x, you get 0. So leaving only 2h at the numerator. So we have h at the denominator. So actually, we can cancel this h. So we can cancel h and h. So we'll have limit as h approaching 0 of 2. So limit for the constant which is 2. So still we get 2 because we don't have h to be substituted with 0. So the answer is 2. That's how you get the answer. Alright. Okay. So let's try another example. So let's say we have another function. Alright. The first one. Given by fx equal. Alright. Let's try the x plus sorry we have one over sorry all right let's try another function mm -hmm. let's take the all right the easiest one here maybe we try 2 minus 3x plus 2x square all right so in the formula we have fx plus h always your first step is to find fx plus h Alright, so you substitute the x with x plus h. So please be careful when you substitute this because once you have got wrong for the first step, then it will be completely wrong for the next step until the end. So expand this one, you'll get something like minus 3x minus 3h plus 2. That one you have to expand x square plus 2xh plus h square. So you'll get something like 2 minus 3x minus 3h plus 2x square plus sorry 4 4x h you have 4x h plus 2h squared all right so now you have fx plus h and also fx you can find the f prime x please note that we know before this without using the definition we will just use the technique f prime x when we uh, differentiate this one we'll get negative 3 plus 4x so this is our aim the red one is our aim here to get negative 3 plus 4x so to get there so we have to use the limit as h approaching 0, fx plus h, so you write you write back the fx plus h, which is given by 2 minus 3x minus 3h plus 2x square plus 4xh plus 2h square, alright, the whole thing over, sorry, that one is fx plus h, you have to subtract the fx, fx is given by, be careful, put the fx in the bracket, so 2 minus 3x plus 2x square, alright, so this whole thing over h, that one is the formula, okay, so now you expand the 1 at the numerator, so limit as h approaching 0, a 2 minus 3x minus 3h plus 2x squared plus 4, sorry, plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 2 plus 3x minus 2x squared. So please the whole thing over h. So try to simplify the one at the denominator. So you can see that 2 minus 2 is already 0. And then you have negative 3x plus 3x. Again, you get 0. And 2x squared minus 2x squared, you get 0. So you just have the, uh, the 
sorry, at the numerator as okay, we still have limit as h approaching 0. Why we still have this? Because we have not substituted h with 0. So we just have, alright, so I write the positive parts first. Um, 4xh plus 2h square minus 3h at the denominator. And at the numer sorry, at the numerator, and now at the denominator, we still have h. So what to do with this? We'll have to, uh, uh, sorry, factorize h at the numerator. So to factorize that one, so we'll have limit as h approaching 0. We have h, okay, so we'll have 4x plus 2h minus 3 over h. Now we can see that we always want uh, to get to this step before we get the final answer. So we have to cancel h and h, alright? So we just have... <coughs> Limit as h approaching 0 of 4x plus 2h minus 3. Now, we know that to find the limit, so we'll have to substitute h with 0. So this part should be substituted with 0. So we'll have something like 4x, maintain as 4x, 2, right, sorry, plus 2h is substituted with 0 minus 3. So you simplify this one, you get 4x minus 3. So which is our aim just now to get the negative 3 plus 4x or 4x minus 3, the same thing. So we have done with the first example. Let's see the next example. Let me check another example for you. All right. Let's try the one that have the square root. fx is given by x squared plus 25. Okay, let's see this one. So we know that f, uh, uh, to find f prime x, so firstly find fx plus h first. So fx plus h is given by x plus h squared. x is replaced by x plus h. Squared is still there. And then you simplify this one, all right? You expand this one. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25, all right? You get something like this. Okay, now we'll have to find the f prime x using the definition, which is given by limit as h approaching 0 of fx plus h. So please put the fx plus h. x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25 minus the fx is given by x squared plus 25. All right, this whole thing over h. Okay, so what to do next is that we have to simplify this one. Because we know when limit involving the radical, we'll have to involve the conjugate of the radical. So the conjugate is given by, so this one is a bit tedious because it involves the conjugate, which is, which makes the your working a bit complicated, all right? So 2xh plus h squared plus 25, all right? You just copy this one first, x squared plus 25, this whole thing over h. So you'll have to multiply with the conjugate, where the conjugate is given by, right? Everything is the same except the symbol at the middle there, all right? So x squared plus, <laughs> sorry, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25, all right? So the symbol just now in the middle is given by negative, so it should be positive here. So we'll have x squared plus 25. So the one is for the numerator, and for the denominator, you just copy the same thing, right? Square plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25 plus x squared plus 25. So you have to expand at the one at the denominator. That means the, the original radical with its conjugate. So in this case, the part, the, the, what do we call the numerator, the denominator is maintained. You shouldn't expand that one, all right? Limit as h approaching 0. So when you try to expand, you have to multiply this one with this one. You get square, multi square root multiplied by square root, so you, you lose the square root. So we'll just have the x square plus 2xh plus h square plus 25, all right? So because one is plus, another one is minus, so you have minus at the middle, all right? Minus, please put bracket. So the next is that you will have to Expand this one, multiply by this one, is given by x squared plus 25. So, what about the one at the denominator? So, the one at the denominator, h, you just copy them down, h. And then you'll have this whole part here. So, just copy them down, uh, put in bracket, alright? So, square root of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25, alright? plus another x squared plus 25. Okay, something like this. So expand the one at the numerator, all right? So you'll get 
limit as h, right? Here is h approaching 0 of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25 minus x squared minus 25. The one at the de uh, numerator. So at the denominator, you just copy them down. So x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25. Okay. Plus square root of x squared plus 25. You don't have to expand the one at the uh, denominator. All right. So now look at your uh, numerator. So you have x squared minus x squared, you get 0. And then you have 25 minus 25, again you get 0. So you just left now with the limit as h approaching 0. The numerator, you have 2xh plus h squared. Alright, you copy the whole thing. Okay, don't be lazy to copy the whole thing. I know, most of the students do not like to copy over again and again. But in mathematics, you have to to be very hardworking in coping, you know? Alright, so now, again, before the next step, we should factorize the one at the numerator here. So we can take out h, because when you take out h, you, um, you, you still have, uh, you, you know, you can cancel h at the numerator and also at the denominator. So you'll have something like, alright, limit as h approaching 0, h of 2x, plus h, alright? You factorize something like this, you have h at the bottom here. So, x squared, sorry. <laughs> x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 25 plus x squared plus 25. So, please take note that we can cancel h here and h here. That's why we factorize before this step. Okay, so when you have this one, so now you just left with the limit as h opportunity 0 of 2x plus h, and the numerator, you just left with the you just left with the square root of x squared plus two x h plus h squared plus twenty five plus another square root of x squared plus twenty five. So the next step is to to substitute the h with zero. So when you substitute with h is zero, so this will become zero. And this part will become zero because they have h. This one also becomes zero. All right, there's no more h. So you're just left with because I've substituted h with zero, no more limit. So we have two x at the upper parts and the lower parts. You have. Sorry for the interruption. Alright, so the lower part should have the square root of x squared plus 25. The one that I've lighted with yellow color is already eliminated because they are 0. So plus another square root of x squared plus 25. But most of the students have problems in simplifying this. So actually you have 2x because these are the same thing. We are written twice and add them together. So you will have 2 square root of x squared plus 25. And then again, you have to simplify this because you can cancel 2 and 2 at the numerator and also the denominator. So you'll have x over square root of x squared plus 25. So you are done with the second example. If you're not, if you don't believe in the answer that I've obtained just now, you can check your answer by, you know, by differentiating this using the technique. So whatever technique you have learned before, you can use and you'll get the same answer actually, all right? If you don't get the same answer, that means there's something wrong in your calculation. You should check back your calculation. All right, let's see the next example. The third example, maybe we can try another example. All right, the third example, maybe we can see something which involves diffraction. All right, let's try. Fx is given by x plus 5 over 2x minus 3. Okay, you have this one. So firstly, substitute with x with x plus h. So you get fx plus h is given by x plus h plus 5 over 2. x is substituted with x plus h minus 3. So you'll have x plus h plus 5 over 2x plus 2h minus 3. So you'll have this. Okay, because it involves fraction. So you can actually modify your, your definition for limit just now can be written as something like this. You can take, uh, you don't take out h, you just limit as h approaching 0. You just bring this h in front here, meaning that you'll get something like 1 over h, and then you'll have fx plus h minus fx. So they are actually the same, all right? Because you just um, put the fraction of h in front, all right? So whenever you find fx in form of fractions, you'll have to use the second definition that I've given just now. So f prime x is given by the limit as h approaching 0 of 1 over h of fx plus h minus fx. Okay? Later you will know why we'll have to use this definition because we don't want the fraction to be, you know, the multiple layer. Alright? Very, very complicated. Alright. So, you substitute, alright, limit as h approaching 0 of 1 over h, fx plus h is given by x plus h plus 5 over 
2x plus 2h minus 3 minus fx is given by x plus 5 over 2x minus 3. Okay, you have something like this. So you have to simplify uh, those fractions in the bracket by, you know, making the denominator the same. Alright, so I'm going to Alright, so we'll have to do this. Limit as approaching 0 of 1 over h. Alright, just focus the one in the bracket first. So you'll have to cross multiply this one. Alright, multiply this one, multiply this one, and multiply this one. So you'll get something like 2x minus 3. Okay, x plus h plus 5, alright, minus x plus 5, alright, 2x plus 2h minus 3, okay. So the one at the denominator, you just put them in bracket, alright, 2x plus 2h minus 3. Don't have to expand it, alright, but you have to expand the one at the numerator only. So you'll have something like limit as h approaching 0 of 1 over h. Alright, expand the 1 at the numerator, so you'll get something like 2x squared plus 2xh, be careful, right, plus 10x minus 3x minus 3h and minus 15. Right, that one is the first term, alright, the second term. Uh, you have 2x squared plus 2xh minus 3x and then you'll have plus 10x plus 10h minus 15, okay. So, write everything, the one at the denominator, you don't have to expand as I advised just now. Alright, 2x minus 3, okay. So now, expand the one at the numerator, alright. Yes, when it involves fraction, so, you know, uh, it's very complicated because it becomes very long. When it involves fraction and also the, what do we call, the radical, alright, means square root, alright. So, please, uh, whenever you are staying at home, just go and perform haja prayer, you know, so that this kind of question will not come out in test and even final examination. Alright, we'll continue back. 2x squared plus 2xh plus 10x minus 3x minus 3h minus 15. So, please distribute the negative, that one, so we get negative 2x squared minus 2xh plus 3x minus 10x minus 10h plus 15. So, please be careful. Alright, so the one at the denominator, we just copy them down, alright, minus 3, 2x minus 3. Right, so now let's now simplify the one it, at the numerator. Okay, so you have negative 2x squared and 2x squared, so it's cancelled, becomes 0. You have 2xh minus 2xh become 0. Negative 3x plus 3x becomes 0. 10x minus 10x becomes 0. So negative 15 plus 15 becomes 0. So you're just left with negative 3h minus 10h. Actually, you can actually simplify that one to become h approaching 0 of 1 over h. You know, you have negative 3h minus 10h, so negative 13h. Okay, at the denominator, just copy them down, 2x plus 2h minus 3, 2x minus 3, okay? So please take note that h here at the denominator, sorry, numerator, can be cancelled with the h at the denominator here, okay? So there's no more h, always. The, sec the second last step is that we want to, f to cancel h, factorize h if, if it needed to be factorized. So... You can cancel h now. We'll have limit as h approaching 0. So you're just left with the negative 13 at the numerator. At the bottom there you have, oh, sorry, mm -hmm. 2x plus 2h minus 3 and again 2x minus 3. So the next step we want to substitute the h with 0. So please take note that this term will become 0. So you're just left with the negative 13 over 2x minus 3. They want 2x minus 3 because they are the same thing and they are being multiplied so become 2x minus 3 square. Okay, so we are done with this one. Okay, so again, if you don't believe in the answer, so try to use the u over v, meaning that quotient rule, to get the factorization as a differentiation of fx and you'll get the same answer actually. Alright, so um, let's try... I think that would be that would be enough for you. Maybe you can try another examples from your tutorial questions. So I hope you get the answer why we have to do the um, sorry the definition of derivatives because long time ago they haven't found out the techniques of differentiation derivatives. So they have to use the definition to get the uh, differentiation for each function. So that's all. Thank you for watching.